Hey everybody, welcome. Andrew Golf Academy here. Good to have you along with me today. It's an exciting one today. I have been waiting so patiently to hit this golf club that is in my hand today. Without any further ado, JPX 900 from Mizuno has arrived. All arrived in store yesterday. Drivers, fairway woods, hybrids. Had a very sneaky little hit with this before it was launched. It was all a bit of a rush. Didn't get a chance to hit many shots of it, so really couldn't have an opinion. So I've been waiting for this to happen. So what I've got, I'll flash up some uh, nice images for you in a minute, is I've got the 900. I've got it fitted with the Fuji Cora 6 shaft. There are lots of shaft options these days uh, for the 900. We've got new speeder shafts. We've got some of the older Orochi shafts, which can go in here. We've got a couple of Fuji Cora options. So about four or five different custom fit options. So I've gone for the Fuji Cora 6, 63 gram shaft in a stiff flex. Lots and lots of settings. Look at the bottom of this club. We have got weight ports, we've got sliders, we've got loft changes. So basically what we've got on here is we've got slider plate in the middle. This is going to change the spin rates for you and affect trajectory a little bit. We've got a draw setting here and a fade setting. We can move these eight gram weights into these positions. We've also got on the bottom another adjustability, which will open, close, or put the face into neutral. And then we've got all the different loft settings going from seven and a half all the way up to 11 and a half with some upright settings. So there are an awful lot of settings on this club. They give you one of these. I love it. It's a, a manual, a user manual. There you go. There's that much information here. We have a manual so that you can see all the different settings. We've got draw settings, we've got draw low, draw mid, draw high. We've got, you name it, we've got it. You know, we can set it up for high spin, low spin, fade setting, fade low, fade mid, fade high. You name it, we can do it. Absolutely mind blowing. Hit some shots of it earlier. Oh, before we do that, let's just talk about the, the look of it. I must say, I've kind of just fallen in love with this club this morning. I think the blue is absolutely stunning with the black face. The finish on it is fantastic. 45 inches long, these shafts are really good length. As I sit that down behind the ball, I was just thinking, wow, not many glove clubs really excite me, but this one has really fired me up. So I couldn't wait to hit it. I did notice I set it up to 10 and a half to start with all neutral and it was launching quite high with quite a lot of backspin. Now I'm not a high ball launcher so I got the loft down to nine and a half and I put the weight ports into their lowest setting to try and give me a slightly lower spinning head. Hit a couple of shots and I just picked out the best one that I've hit so far today and I'm going to show you this shot in a minute. So we'll come over into the hitting area We'll, we'll play the shot for you and talk about the numbers. Okay, over in the hitting area, guys and girls. I'm uh, just going to show you the replay of the shot on GC2 and then have a little look at the numbers. So let's, let's just hit the replay button on this. It was my customary um, high draw. Well, I'll say high draw. It's not always high, but it's normally a draw. So here it goes. Took off. Slightly up the right. Drawing back on target. Really high flight. Show you the numbers on this. Let's bring up the numbers for you so that you can have a little peeky at the performance. Club head speed, 101, 102 miles an hour. That's about my normal club speed unless I really try and jump on one and then I've absolutely no idea where it's going. Ball speed, around about 147 miles an hour. Carry distance, 253 through the air. GC2 doing a predicted run out of around about 278, 280. Whew, be more than happy with that. Eight yards left of target, with a peak height of 33 yards. Backspin, 2250. Very happy with that as a spin rate from a launch angle of 14 degrees. So, hit a few other shots prior to that. I had a couple slightly longer. I had a couple of necky ones, which were absolutely fine. But the big difference, which I noticed between the 900 and the previous model, the 850, is the drop-offs that you get or don't get when you miss strike it. 
When I caught one a little bit healy or a bit low in the face, the 850 for me used to just beat me up. Just used to go nowhere. Just couldn't work it if I miss hit it. If I hit one out the middle, I'd probably say the 850 was one of the longest drives I've ever hit. But this one, much more forgiving. So I think this 900, once you've got it fitted, you've got the right shaft, you've got the right settings in loft and weights, this is a very forgiving driver, folks. For me, this is one of the big drivers of 2017. I think this will stack up against your M1s, your M2s, your Titleists, your Pings. Ping, let's go back and talk a little bit about uh, Ping. What did I say Ping for? Mizuno. History with drivers has been a little bit hit and miss. I think they get a bad press a lot of the time. Is that the right expression, a bad press? Or people just have the wrong impression. They tend to think of Mizuno as just an irons company. They don't tend to take their drivers particularly seriously. By Jingo, folks, you've got to take this driver seriously. Price-wise, it's up there, it's premium. In the UK, this is going to retail at £349. That's what you'll see it on the big websites. This is what I'll be selling it at. What that equates to in America, I'd love to know. So it's a premium product, but it's, it's premium price. So, you know, £349, a lot of money for a driver, but it's got a lot of tech built into it. So, very excited. I, you can sense my excitement here, can't you, folks? I love it. I can't wait to keep testing it. Today was just a quick, let's have a look at it, let's hit it. I want to try it with some of the other shaft options, give you guys and girls some more detailed feedback on it. But I am in love with the JPX 900 driver. I urge you, go and try it, go and hit it. You won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching. Anyone got this in their bag already? Love to know you're getting on with it. It's a beauty. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Oh, click on the subscribe button if you get a chance. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it, and I'll be back soon with more reviews. Have a good one.